Are you serious? Are you serious? What have we learned with the CERN? Well, we've learned that the CERN now speaks and speaks to the world at the United Nations. CERN speaks about its laboratory and its cooperation model at the United Nations in Geneva uh, in a conference entitled The CERN Model. United Nations and global public goods representatives discussed with the United Nations delegates the, the laboratory's model for an international cooperation. Now, the United Nations Director General of CERN, Michael Moeller, and, um, and the CERN Director General Rolf Hewler, a panel, were included as the discussion of what they called consensual governance. Now that's almost, <laughs> that's almost like um, a new world order is when you have a world governance. Now what they're saying is they created a consensual governance and allowing nations of the world to participate in the experiment known as the CERN. This, this thing is deep, deep, deep. And I mean, not only deep intellectually, but it's 300 feet deep into the earth with a 27 kilometer machine, a monster uh, that creates this collision course of protons. Matter of fact, they announced that they have concluded their proton to proton, 400 trillion proton collision and uh, for this year. As they crank this thing up during the Halloween weekend, double the speed they ever done before. We're still waiting on what the results of that. I mean, did they create the God particles? Did they open the gates of hell? I mean, there has been reports of demonic activity, strange sightings, psychological imbalances, uh, weird manifestations all around that area. Now that's being reported already I'm sure the CERN will not speak of the spiritual aspect of what's taking place there, but without question, they're going where no man has gone before, and that is to literally try to make a crack in a potential black hole. And no wonder Stephen Hawking is saying, don't do this. Uh, but of course, man will do whatever man thinks he can do because mankind thinks he is God. And that is what got Nimrod in trouble with the Tower of Babel. And I'm sure that's what's going to get a human race in trouble at the CERN. Is this a gate to hell? Is this part of the opening? Is this part of the releasing of the angel of the bottomless pit and the demons, the legions of demonic spirits from the fallen ones? Will this be part of the rise of the humanoid type mentality, this, uh, this man's obsession with being part man, part machine, or maybe part man, part celestial or terrestrial entity. You know, um, I think about Russ Dizdar, the fact that he says that the Antichrist, he calls him homo satanus which means half man, half Satan. Very similar situation. He's, he's, Apostle Paul calls him the son of perdition, of course, the lawless one. And, and we're witnessing more and more evil. Men's hearts are on evil continually, just like they were in the days of Noah. And there were giants in the land before and after the flood. And, and it even says... Uh, as it was, Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. And you look and see that the earth was filled with violence then and wickedness. And every imagination was on evil continually. And God repented that he ever made us. Now, here we are again. And we're at the brink of the beast. And it's not just a governance. It's not just RFID microchip technologies that can create a system of the mark of the beast. It's not just a false Christ and an antichrist, but we're looking at an overall scientific approach to this new world order. All of it is coming together, both also militarily and economically. 
We are watching the globalization, the Luciferians, the Masons, the Skull and Bones, the Bohemian Grove, the Bilderberg groups, all encapsulated with the same ultimate goal and achievement at hand, and that is a one world, new world order. The Bible calls it the beast. And it's ugly. It's got seven heads, ten horns. They're wearing crowns of blasphemy. It is an antichrist movement. It will not stop. It takes on different shapes and forms. But with the signing of the uh, Iranian nuke deal, the fact that you can get socialist, communist, fascist, capitalist, uh, radical Islamist to all agree on something has to be the darkness of the spirit of, of hell itself. Oh, I'm telling you. What have we learned at the CERN is a lot more than the reports that they're going to deliver. We've learned that we're at the end of time and we're not ready. Many of you will be left behind. I wonder if you're watching this video now, after I'm gone, are you saved? Where will you spend eternity? Did the CERN just open the door for you? Or will you accept the door? While you're still here, while I'm still here, that door is open. That door is Jesus Christ. Choose him now. Time is running out.